Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me on my musical journey under the glass moon. I have a special one for you today with some more baby metal. Um, today we're finally going to take a look at Momo Metal's version of Headbanger, aka Momo Banger. Um, and this is from the Legend MM concert, which took place on March 2nd at Yokohama Arena. And it's Momo's Night of Version 20. Uh, Night of 20 version. Ugh. Her birthday is March 3rd, so she would have turned 21 the next day. I'm including the intro to this as well, so be prepared for a logo to be over the video. Um, if that happens, you will find the original without the logo over on our Patreon page, along with a ton of additional content um, from behind the scenes, uh, drum cover alternate angles, drum cover audio, former and all future Twitch live streams are over there as well. All kinds of additional content. There's literally something there for everyone with tiers starting at just $1. So if you're interested, go check us out. It's the best way to help support the channel and see what we have to offer. All right, with that said, let's just get to this reaction. A link to a safe version will be in the description below. All right, Momo Banger, let's go. I do always try to include these intros. It was the moment when another new legend was born among the many existing legends. <laughs> 20 years ago, a streak of meteors shone in the twilight zone where the western sky was changing from orange to pink. Eventually, the meteor shifted from west to east and landed on this land where a new messiah was born. I love how they incorporate the lore even no with Momo. How many hardships she faced, she was like the sun, always shining a bright light. And tonight, just like in the legends of many messiahs, her black hair was splendidly disheveled, and the hundred flower petals that <laughs> bloomed wildly were destined to disappear forever. The time has come to engrave in our hearts the last bravery of those twenty nights that will never come back. All right, I do I do love including these little intro sections with the lore, and I do really appreciate that they incorporated some lore for entirety of Baby Metal with Momo in there. It's really, really cool how they did that. Yeah, let's get to it. It's usually those lores that make me have to put the logo over it too and intros Momo descending from the heavens It's a very ominous intro. Oh. 
Here we go. All right, I remember when this came on live when I saw them, and it was just amazing to begin with. It is fantastic, that introduction there where Momo was ascending or descending from the sky, from the heavens, and coming to the band and the way that all came together. Very, very cool intro. That's what I love about these Japanese shows more than uh, the U.S. shows that they had here and probably even some European shows. Um, but the amount of production that they're able to do in their local countries. I mean, the production is is just is top notch. You can't beat it. Uh, all right, <clears throat> let's go. Now, I'm going to imagine that they're going to be going back to the original choreography for this song, cut to this version. Um, I don't know. I, most of the songs that I saw, most of the times when I saw this performed either on video or when I saw it live, um, they did the extended headbang version where Momo and Moa would go out to the sides and they'd headbang with their pigtails. And there's some funny videos out there of even hitting some of the security guys who were there on stage. Based on this version, I'm going to guess they're going to go back to the original because we know what's going to happen here. Don't know what it's going to sound like. I have heard that there is a special part in here. I haven't heard it, but something special, I believe, is coming up. Yeah, we're back to the original. It's just so awesome. A whole arena bowing to you. I mean, we know that in, wow, uh, we know that in uh, Matali, there's a section when she did it live. It was playback for, I would imagine, 90%, if not all of the shows where she screamed the Are You Ready part. But we know it was Momo who actually was on the vocal, so we know she could do it. I don't know if that was playback or if that was really her. Either way, it's freaking amazing addition because it makes it her own I mean, she does that we've seen her do it we've heard her do it and it's it's so cool that they incorporate it into this 
Oh. We're going to go back. We're going to listen to that all over again, just because it was freaking amazing. One thing I want you to take notice of when Momo is singing this, A, I think it's the first time I have personally heard her singing voice solo. I mean, I've heard it backing stuff. However, she sings it differently. She has a lot more staccato placement of the words there. Uh, and it's really cool. It makes it her own besides for the screaming and that added extra screaming at the end. All right. One more time. Let's do it. You hear that? And I still appreciate the fact that Sue mimes the twin tails there. Awesome. <laughs> that is just so freaking cool. All right. Momo banger, let's talk. All right, what can we say? You know, freaking amazing. She made it her own with the different style of singing that part with the more staccato, more emphasized words. Um, and then of course the screams makes it her own. I love that each person has their own version of it. I mean, Moa's version, when she does the screaming part of it, she has that long extended scream because that's what she likes to do. 
and uh, you know Yui's version is more dead point, dead dead on to the original, and then Sue's is the original. Obviously, each of them made it their own version of it. I love it. Such a great, such a great performance. Uh, even if even if that was playback, I don't know. For the screaming parts, uh, it was still it was still amazing. Very very cool. I'm glad we finally got to watch this. I'm glad they did this. I'm glad they were able to do it. And it's a very, very special night for her. Um, very, very special night for the crowd. Uh, Legend MM, great. Uh, we will be watching Legend MM in its entirety both nights as soon as the second night is available. Um, I'll be streaming them over on Twitch at some point down the future. Got to get back into streaming some stuff because it's been quite a while since I've done anything over there and I do miss it. There's some, there's definitely some shows that I still want to watch, Baby Metal and other stuff. Um, all right, go check out our Patreon if you want to see this without the logo on it or any other non edit portions that had to be over there if that happened here. I don't know. Regardless, I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll catch y'all next time. So if you enjoyed this reaction, check out this playlist right here and get more just like it. While you're at it, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that little notification bell so you know whenever I drop a new reaction. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you the next time the glass moon rises.